glad you clicked this video because there's two groups of people out there, yeah? After being involved with a narcissist, right? There's some of us that realize initially that they're suffering and they're going through hardship without us, yeah? But there's a whole group of people, and this is the people that I want to speak to, yeah? Is the ones that have been dragged through the mud, the ones that have been devalued, the ones that have been told they're nothing worth anything, yeah? They're everything less than. And they're made to feel so small and so insignificant to the narcissist. And the narcissist is standing there, shining bright, inverted commas, and they've, they've dragged you through the mud, they've teared you up, they've cheated on you, they've done all of these things, and you feel so broken inside, yeah? You feel so broken and distraught inside. Yeah, and this may have gone on for some time now. This may be fresh wounds, but either way, they make such an impact on us. It can have a long lasting impact on us and a long lasting devastating impact on us, right? But I want to bring you to the point of the fact is they're lost without you. You don't realize it, you don't see it, and it's because the universe and God doesn't want you to see it, doesn't want you to see their suffering. Don't you understand that you used to empathize with them? Throughout the, the whole relationship, you empathize with them. From the beginning, they probably lured you in with, with feeling sorry for them. They, they, a lot of them do this, yeah? And you, 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 you continuously empathize with them. And I know that you lot are so good, such strong people, such good people, yeah? That you still empathize with them now. So I'll tell you what, yeah? Believe you me, they're suffering, yeah? And you just have to look behind the veil. You just have to look behind the veil and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll get a glimpse into, into behind the veil and you'll see how much they're suffering about you. Please press the like and the subscribe button if you can. It will help your brother out. It helps with the algorithms and it will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But looking behind this veil now, yeah, just imagine a curtain. Imagine a, a net curtain, yeah. You, you, what you're seeing through at the, this is what your picture of your life is now, yeah. You're seeing it through a distorted lens. You're seeing it through a distorted vision. You can't see the whole picture. And the only reason why I've come to an understanding now is because I've been through the journey and I've looked back in retrospect. And this is the journey I want you lot to go on now as well, is looking back in retrospect, yeah. You have to understand, yeah, that they always made you feel like you had to act a certain way to be around them. They always made this the way, right? But in the real essence of it, yeah, it was actually you dictating how the relationship played out, yeah? Because they're the one that operated and masqueraded through life with artificial light. They're the one that lied, cheated, manipulated. So everything they were doing was a lie, right? So... When they're having to lie and walk through life, lying, everything they want, they go around it the other way. They want to get to the, they want to get from A to B. They don't go from A to B. They go from A, probably back to Z, maybe back to Y, maybe to an X, maybe to a W, and then they'll work their way back to B. Yeah, that's the way they move. They move like they, they move they move sideways. Yeah. They don't they don't walk the straight path. They don't just walk from A to B like a lot of you chosen ones and empaths do. You'll just get on with it. They don't do that. They go inwards, outwards, they swerve in turning, taking you on all these rides, bringing you high, bringing you low, bringing you high, bringing you low, dragging you up, dragging you down. And this is what the journey you've been on, right? So they've took you on this whole journey through the time you was with them. Now whether you had to discard them, yeah, you had to get rid of them and terminate the relationship. Either way, you're probably still hurting or they left you in such a vulnerable state where they left you alone. They made you feel like you're not wanted. Now, what I want you to understand is they lost before the relationship ended. They already lost and you didn't see it. Now, look behind the veil now, yeah? There was something that happened along the course of the journey of the relationship. I don't know what it is exactly in your scenario, right? But just think, right? There was something that you were going to do. 
you could possibly be starting a new job. A lot of these lot do it when you're starting a new job or you're, you're, you're doing something, right? You're doing something, you're moving house, you're starting a new job, you, you're doing something, right? And this makes them very, they start to feel very insignificant, right? They, they're very insignificant creatures and they project this feeling insignificant onto you. And that's why you're left feeling insignificant now. But along the journey, they were made to feel insignificant. You could have been doing something small like going to visit your family's house in another city, in another town. You were going to visit your family's house for the weekend, for the month, right? And then all of a sudden, this, this, this breakup's happened. It's totally made you forget about what you was meant to be doing, whether that was starting that new job, going to your family's house, doing whatever. And... They've made this whole breakup happen. They've left you. Whatever's happened, yeah? Now, they were losing from before it even started, yeah? Well, let's just pick up the story from there, right? Just on this one scenario where it actually become to where you separated. But there was some along the way as well. There was points along the way where you was, you was winning and they was having to appease you, yeah? They was doing this along the way. But what I'm saying is now... Is they felt so insignificant when you would... This is what destroys them along the way. Little times where you went and went to your family's house or you went to your friends. This was destroying them. They can't contain it. I remember in my scenario, I made someone a drink, but they didn't want one, right? I remember I made a drink for someone, right? Someone else. But I lived with a narcissist. So I just made them a drink. And then... They tried to gaslight me afterwards and they said, when it was quiet and it was just me and them, they said, oh, you didn't make me a drink. I said, what? I said, you're a weirdo. Like, what do you mean? Why didn't you just ask? I would have made you one. It was a hot chocolate or something from the machine. I didn't think they wanted a hot chocolate. If they wanted a hot chocolate, they could just ask. We had that kind of relationship. It wasn't like, I understand serving all and all that, but just trust me. I understand my point that I'm trying to break down. And this... When I look back, this really destroyed them, yeah? So this is the same thing that I'm talking about, right? When you're going to your family's house, they'll start arguments. Now, this is why what they've done in this breakup with between yourselves, I hope you're still in this here in this point in this video, but what they've done is they've created an illusion upon you, right? And they've put, inflicted this illusion upon you that you're nothing without them. That's all that they were aiming to do. Right? Because, and the reason they've done it is because they were made to feel nothing without you. And they are nothing without you. So now, right? This was happening throughout the entire journey that you were two, two were together. Right? They were made to feel nothing without you. They don't feel they can amount up to you. You would never see it. You have to remember what I said at the beginning. Look behind the veil. Someone that gets insecure about you going to a job, starting a new job, starting a new, um, going to visit your families in another town or another city, getting insecure, throwing their toys out the pram. This is someone who's a loser. This is someone who's a weirdo. And this is someone who's in that losing state of mind, right? So because they endured this throughout the entire relationship, they might have even watched certain things. Believe you me, they watch things on their phone. Ways to manipulate, ways to do this. It's natural to them, but they'll still do it. They'll still try and research things, ways to get what you want. They'll do these things, right? We're left looking at videos and videos trying to find the right source of information afterwards after we've gone through this and we're not really thinking clearly and stuff. But they, they, they're very calculated. They study how to try and destroy you, yeah? Because naturally through the course of the journey, they were realizing that they lost. And this is what not a lot of people touch on. They don't touch on the fact that they were losing throughout the relationship. Yes, you were made to feel devalued. You were made to feel this way. You were made to feel dragged through the mud. You were made to feel less than. But this was all a means and a projection from them onto you. This was all a projection from them 
on to you. That's all it was. Now, when we get into the stage of where you've lot have gone your separate ways, I've touched on this countless times in other videos. How they feel distraught without you. They feel like they lost their monkey branch to another source of supply. They jump to the nearest thing they can jump to. And then they compare it to you. You're the comparison. They're comparing it to you. That when they get in an argument with this new supplier, they'll be saying, oh, my ex never done this to me. My ex never done this to me. They didn't do this to me. Oh, no. This, they didn't do that. That's what they'll say to you. That's what they'll say to them, sorry. They'll say this because you're the comparison. You're that bar that they can't raise beyond. They can't raise the bar beyond you. They can't get higher than you. And this is how they lost. This is why they lost again. They lost throughout the entire course of it. With all their manipulation, all of their slander, all of their backbiting, all of their smear campaigns, all of their stuff that they tried to project onto you. Yeah, because they're sorry, all of the stuff they try to inflict onto you because they're projecting their own insecurities and feeling of dread with inside themselves onto you. That's why it happened. That's why they done it. And that's because they lost and they always lost and they losing now. So you need to change the mindset and understand, right, that they're the ones that's losing. Just because they've either left you, broken up with you, right? Done something, thrown you out like nothing, like nothing, like you don't mean anything, right? Don't you understand this was just part of their manipulation? When you're dealing with an individual who through the course of the relationship, when you was just doing normal things, normal outings, normal family events, normal birthdays, normal stuff like this, they couldn't let anything flow like water they couldn't let everything flow normally and in harmony they always had to bring their spin on things because they're losers because they because they're losers and weirdos that's why they're always trying to put their spin on things they feel left out i brought up that scenario about the drink now the reason why i brought that up it may not have made sense to you but i'll just paraphrase it again the reason why i'm saying that is look how small that is Look how small and insignificant something like a drink is, right? Yeah? And it hurt them. And they even, when I tried, when I outed them, I said, Yo, and I started to argue. I said, Listen, he said, D -d 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 -d. when the people come around who the drink was for, they tried to flip it and say, No, they didn't say that. They tried to say, I didn't say that. And they were like making out that I was hearing things. They was making out that I didn't hear that they, that, you know what I mean? This is what they were trying to gaslight me, right? They were trying to gaslight me. I was tired at the time. And this is what they were trying to do to me. They were trying to like, you know, they were trying to make me think that. So this is what I'm trying to say. Something so small and insignificant to us really hurts their ego. And this is why they will always lose. So what I'm trying to say to you is, if you take it to another thing, like you were going to stay for your families for the weekend, or you were starting a new job, or you were doing something like this. That's even another scenario that happened. I was going to start a new job in a university. They got very insecure that I was going to start a job at a university. They didn't tell me this. But I look back in retrospect behind the veil. And this is what it was. So they look for their power plan. They go for their power trip. How's the best way for them to gain power? Is sever ties. They want to sever ties to make them feel like they won. When in reality, if you look behind the veil, they didn't win at all. They're the loser, they lost out without you, and they, they realise now what they've lost. They realise now what they've lost. They realised it, when it was panning out, when it was panning out, and you were reaching out to them, and you were trying to solve things, this wasn't the bigger picture. Do you see? That's why you couldn't get an understanding between you two. That's why you couldn't get an understanding between yourselves for you to work it out. Do you understand? Because they had a higher picture in order. There's something that they wanted to inflict onto you from their feelings of insignificance. 
from their feelings of dread from their feelings of feeling less than this is how they feel remember i've mentioned it they don't have the same if you do a brain scan in the prefrontal cortex of the brain they have less gray matter they don't have empathy that's the point of the brain for empathy they don't have empathy okay so they're already functioning on an incomprehensible plane and by them functioning on this incomprehensible plane as i mentioned earlier on way back at the start about if we want to go to b we walk from a however they go back to z this is because they function on an incomprehensible plane where i brought up the drink example something so small and irrelevant that's only because they spoke it how many things do you think they don't speak out loud how many things that hurt their ego hurt them they don't speak out loud and this is why they were losing yeah throughout the relationship right and back to the title of the video in the reason why they lost when they realized they lost without you yeah they lost sorry when the narcissist realizes they lost you, right? They felt like they were losing you along the way. And that's what I'm trying to bring to your attention now. I'm trying to bring this to your attention. That they felt like they were losing you and you were slipping out the grasp of their hands along the way. Along the way, you were slipping out of their hands. And that's what they felt. And they went for a power trip. They went to try and gain full control over you. Transform that energy that you normally give into something that is needy, to something that is craving them, to something that is lost without them, to something that is only wishes them back. And you, they, they flipped it on you. And they saw you. And they, they, they saw you for two seconds where they got you. They thought, right, I've got them good now. I've got them good. I've got them in the position where they're needing me, where they're chasing me, where they're after me, where they want me back, where they're calling my phone. And this is how they had you. But this was through all of the, insig the feelings of insignificant, in insignificance, from the feelings of being less than, from the feelings that you're slipping out of their hands along the course of the journey. That's what it was. That's what it is. Okay, and that's what they do. So just, just, just remember, yeah. They felt like they was losing you throughout the whole entire journey that they was with you, and this is the reason why this took place. As I mentioned, if you've just gone to, your, why do you think that they, if a birthday happens? They destroy the birthday event. And you may be the only one that kind of realises it. They're just making it awkward. They destroyed the birthday event. They destroyed the holiday. They do these things because they feel like it's not about them. You're slipping out of their hands and they're functioning on an incomprehensible plane. Okay? So, just... Remember, wherever they are now, wherever they are now, they're lost without you. Because this thing that they, they, this big building, this big building moment that they built up to and built up to and built up to, and they, they, they just threw all of the weight on you, yeah, like a linen shoot, like a like a whole linen shoot or. A, or trash, trash shoot, yeah? Where you're just dumping all of the trash on them, on you, right? All this weight, they just dashed on you. So you're shouldering the weight of the world, it feels like, on you. And they just made you feel like that. They put you through this pain, right? That was their moment of glory. For one second. But like narcissists are, they can't function without... Supply, they function on an incomprehensible plane. They monkey branch to another source of supply. 
the, mon the new source of supply doesn't equate to what you are, will never equate to what you are, yeah? They can't raise the bar higher than you are as a chosen one, as an empath. They can't raise the bar higher than that. So now you're the comparison. Don't you understand that now moving forward in their journey, you're the beacon of light. You're the ex that was great. You're the person that done this for them. You're the person that done that for them. You're the person that done this for them. They forget about all of these little things that they, that they, they um, function on the incomprehensible plane that they used to um, get wound up with you about. And they start to see you for what you really are. Because separation makes the heart grow fonder. And through separation, this makes the heart grow fonder. And it causes them to become very in need of having you. It causes them to be needing you a lot. And they want you back. Because now to their new supply, there's probably a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath, something or the other, another toxic individual. You're the comparison that their new supply can never amount to. And it will never amount to till the end of time. Because once they encounter a chosen one, it gets installed and embedded in their mind till the end of time. It's stuck in their minds. Believe you me, it's stuck in their minds. Know your value, know your worth, and moving forward, just understand that everything that throughout the course of the relationship, they felt like you were slipping out of their hands and they felt like they were losing you. Okay? They felt like they were losing you and they felt like you were slipping away. So they lost in the relationship. After the relationship, they had their moment of glory where they put all the trash on you, made you feel bad, projected their own insecurities and everything onto you. So they had their little moment of glory. They monkey branched to a new supply. The new supply is a narcissist. The new supply is a psychopath. The new supply is a sociopath. The new supply is a toxic individual, one or the other. The new supply is not you. They start to use you as a comparison and nothing that they encounter with this new supply or any future new supply will ever equate to you because you're an empath, you're rare, you're chosen, you're rare and just know that you're rare, you're a blessing to have what you have. You went through life with this journey with them and you've done nothing but be truthful, you've done nothing but try to be do your best for them, you tried your utmost to do the best things in the best way you could and, and, nothing, and everything that you've done wound them up and wound them up and made them feel like you were slipping away.